Um, hey guys, it's me Chota King and welcome back to another GT Online video of the Los Santos Summer Special DLC. So in this one, this one is gonna be special one in terms of F1 racing. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase the one of the new F1 cars, the Benefactor BR8. So let's go ahead and order it first and then we can read its description. So I'm actually gonna order this in blue and uh, here we are at Office 3. There we go. It's for 3.4 million dollars and let's go ahead and read, read its uh, description. The, the original race version of the BR-8 was uh, a complicated machine constructed from over 400 separate controls it requires inhuman dexterity and a PhD in astrophysics just to start the engine for for the public benefactor have simplified this into a handful of brightly colored buttons and a colossal insurance premium killing yourself has never been so user friendly all right so that's a nice little description we have here and i actually already nearly forgot the names of these two beauties the pr4 this one was an an amazing vehicle and it's much slower friend here the the r88 so so i've heard the next uh, f1 car that is to purchase that is the declasse dr1 is one of the slowest vehicles but it does not look slow so look forward to a video on this one this one looks pretty cool and i think this one was the one they teased on the screenshot so yeah guys we'll just wait for the car and as soon as it's here we can continue alright so that was quick so our BR8 just uh, just arrived in the garage and this really looks nice so the first time the what do you call the F1 cars came this is what I thought they would look like but uh, as you can see they, uh, these are much smaller than the compared to the real life ones I would say but, but this one looks like a proper F1 car and look how look how uh, wide and long this one is not wide it is slimmer i i believe but it is very long this looks like a large vehicle all right so let's jump right into it wow this car is loud all right so let's go ahead and take it out let's go in first person over here all right looks pretty cool I'm actually gonna switch my control to real quick before we exit. Alright, yeah guys, so we are at the MLS custom shop now and I made a huge mistake while recording. So that kind of sucks, I was uh, nearly done with the cu customization. So now I know um, what are the modifications and I'll just show you guys around again. And I have uh, totally removed all the uh, modification that I applied before so let's go ahead and start from the top so first thing is that I have applied all the performance which is the brakes, uh, transmission, turbo and obviously the engine modifications so only the the performance is, uh, is applied so I did drive this around a bit when I was recording before so we can do that right after we exit so yeah guys these are the front wing options for this vehicle so uh, we have the stock front wing then we have the medium front wing here we have the circuit front wing then there is the champion front wing and here is the legendary front wing so yeah my re reaction to this modification wouldn't be that that good or you know the first impression so I I apologize if there's 
not much reaction in this video because uh, I was uh, pretty excited going through all of these liveries oh I mean the the exterior modifications sorry about that so yeah guys uh, now that the front um, wing is applied let's go ahead and look at the back here we have the stock spoiler we have the cut wing spoiler and I'm actually not the fan of the stock spoiler that comes with this car it doesn't make the car look all that nice so here we have the cut off wing this looks pretty nice in my opinion it matches more of the look of the car so here going uh, moving on we have the small extreme wing which looks pretty nice as well moving on we have the angular wing and th then we have the cut off tail fin so I'm not sure how does this make a difference to the performance of the vehicle I'm sure it does but this seemed too extreme for me so I did not apply these so next we have the racing tail fin then we have the extreme shark fin so I actually g uh, went with the small extreme what wing and then moving on we have skirt options over here we have the stock skirts then we have the stock rear intake scoop and then we have the light lightened aero dynamic body then we have the racing aero that dynamic body and last but not least we have the extreme aero dynamic body so I went for this one and I I believe that's all so what's left to do is obviously switch the color to gray I went for the black steel and then let's just jump straight into the liveries alright so we have 11 liveries here okay I think yeah I need to go in the front wing option to free my camera right here we are alright so let's go we have so obviously the stock one with no liveries here we have the pip washer livery this has a golden and black ascent to the livery so you can see at the sides of the vehicle and the, at the edges it's black and moving on we have the estancia this is the old uh, livery from the other F1 cars we got so it has like a black uh, livery all over the body we have grey so we can't really see that much better here we have the atomic livery I actually like this one and the blue looks nice on this vehicle then we have the main mat match main match uh, livery this is a pretty cool livery in my opinion as well then we have the quick fix the one which I will go for this uh, looks pretty nice in my opinion and moving on we have the fix up livery I think this would be my second choice if I had to pick but uh, this one you will need to select a good bo body color to match and moving on we have the e, e cola which uh, also looks pretty nice in my opinion all the liveries are nice obviously it just uh, depends on what the color base of the vehicle is moving on we have the sprunk uh, we all know how the sprunk liveries look green and blue and moving on we have the redwood which I have applied on my other PR4 from my second character I'm not sure if you guys have seen that vehicle and this one has to be the best the Cerveza Bravado I'm I'm sure uh, lots of people went with this one because it does look pretty nice so let's go ahead and apply this livery so the only thing left for us to do is to maybe respray it a little bit then I uh, will continue and we'll apply some new rims Alright guys, so yeah, for, th for the respray I didn't change much 
all I did is uh, add a pearlescent coat to the black steel that we had before so I put a sea green as the pearlescent and for the secondary color which is of this uh, front wing and the front end of the car which you can see uh, right next to the skirts which is gasoline green so so yeah guys and uh, I also got to the bottom of why I made the made the recording mistake before is that I actually have my custom controls on right now so my L3 button is switch with square so as I tried to save the video with the square button it did not press because I had changed it so that was a pretty dumb mistake but it, this really helps you in the in the open wheel races which were which we're gonna do one right now but before that let's just jump straight into the wheels see what uh, wheels should we apply for this vehicle so we have to first apply the wheels then we uh, the rims then we had get to select the tire layout or the sponsors we want so let's go ahead and see which one would we like to install so we have a classic 5 we have retro star we have triple x 70 spec then we have the super 5r moving on we have the speed star then we have the gp90 then we have the super spoke here we have the grid line looks pretty nice we have the snowflake and that's all I think I'm gonna go with the retro retro star for this one we are gonna apply the strip one so let's go ahead and do that and for the tires um, we can see the tire designs here which we would like to apply so and these are pretty nice all of them so we are gonna first see what col color I want for the rim then we can decide obviously I think uh, green is gonna look the best for this car but I think we can go for the green tire design and maybe apply something else as the col wheel color yep that is what we shall do oh this one looks pretty nice the fluorescent blue or the bright blue I think this one goes best with our with our vehicle alright so we're gonna go with the fluorescent blue and for the tires we're gonna go with I think we could go for something else because there's too much green now on the vehicle that's gonna look a bit weird I think the red red ones uh, look good yeah let's go for the red fuckaroo tires alright that's that's it guys yeah, and let's also apply some smoke uh, I think green would be best or we can go for go for yep I'm gonna go for green so yeah guys that this is my customization for the BR8 this looks pretty cool now and yeah I almost forgot to show you guys the exhausts so the, these are the stock exhaust which you can't really see so I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference or not but I think the only ones I can see are the titanium ones oh no I mean the aluminium ones I can see them change but it doesn't look like a huge change to me so we're just gonna go for the aluminium exhaust and yep we are done with this vehicle let's go ahead and take this outside and maybe we can find a race as well so see you guys outside alright guys so there we are we just exited the mod shop and let's go ahead and drive this vehicle around let's see how much quicker this got 
because I I couldn't even handle it before the customization I crashed uh, here and there so let's go ahead and see how this vehicle performs outside but first we should go ahead and enter into a open wheel series so we can get a race alright so this hey, vehicle how's is it going? pretty awesome and I don't think I can really play uh, in first person of this vehicle because they have this huge antenna which is gonna distract me from driving this in first person so let's actually exit so the only thing with this vehicle you have to be careful is the is its length because this car is so long and you can easily crash into stuff so I'm actually cu curious how this car performs against the PR4 but you have to again remind yourself that you are in a F1 car so the handling is pretty good so even if you don't feel confident with the speed of this vehicle you know, we have to keep in mind that it's a F1 car so yeah no bad, better way to check a vehicle than on a track so let's hope the custom cars are on so we can go ahead and take it out yes we can alright so this is one of the new tracks so yes there is a PR4 in here so that is gonna be pretty nice let me get my own clothing there we are and helmet since when do I own that helmet I have no idea but let's ready up alright so we are racing against a PR4 so this should be interesting I actually want to see how this car performs against one so now we have the chance it is also custom so it is not cheating so let's see how this goes oh they added new start starting for these races Oh, alright, so now I can also see the damage. Okay, it's gonna lag on the first few turns. You better keep a good distance. Alright, so... Okay, this vehicle isn't all that good in turning that I'd expect but I think I was in such a slow speed or maybe maybe I think I have the wrong customization installed which makes this car pretty stiff how do you turn this thing this thing isn't even turning I'm sure the PR4 guy is gonna win and yeah because this car doesn't want to turn at all I'm not sure if my think my controller might be messed up because this vehicle is not turning at all for me. Alright, things don't look too good for this car. Alright guys, so I am back on the track and we are doing a, a, a test run because I just <laughs> loaded in free roam and I did try this vehicle and it seemed to be working alright alright so let's see if there was something wrong with the median tires with this vehicle because I did just take um, soft tires this time around so let's see if that makes this vehicle perform any better yep it does it is turning now so yeah I think I got to the bottom of it but the car itself isn't the issue the medium tires on this vehicle doesn't seem to support the modifications so that's why it's so stiff yep see I'm making these turns very easily now so the only trouble with the soft uh, tires 